Good afternoon, everybody. We're so glad you're here. We daily. You guys remember that one? That was fun for a while. Um, it's Friday. We're almost done with work. To we decided. Oh, I'm gonna lean against this crib like this. We decided that tonight is gonna be a home vlog, party time slash, get ready for the weekend because we have our staycation at Riviera tomorrow. That we're gonna. I'm gonna go run to U-Haul and to Petco for some boxes and from, for some things for Eve. We're gonna do some more packing, we're gonna do some more playing with James, playing with Eve. I've got crescent rolls in the oven, heating up the chili again. And it's gonna be a productive but fun weekend. I also might pick us up some Red Bulls, but Sarah doesn't know that yet, cause Friday. Here is dinner, and the chili has been cooked after three days to an oblivion. It's more of like a paste eating on a plate rather than a chili in a bowl. But hey, it's gonna be delicious. Folding laundry, getting packed for our little stay. Look at these two cuties. <laughs> what did he do to you? He laid right on your lap? <laughs> oh gosh. Well, look at this guy. Isn't it just scrum diddly umptious? Alright, time for me to go run some errands. Also, 5G. What is that? Check it out. First stop of the night. The U-Haul store to pick up boxes to start or continue packing it all up. All right, I got some gloves for me and Grant. I got some bags for the couches, chairs, and mattresses. Five boxes and one wardrobe box. That set me back more than I wanted it to, but I'd rather be safe and keep make sure our, our furniture and stuff is well protected during the travels than bash it all up. This road is loud. But right over there, I got some 20-foot trucks over there, some tow dollies over there, and in three weeks, this is where I'm picking it up. Well, in just under three weeks. Look at these cute cats. I'm at Petco picking up stuff for Eve. I grew up with cats. I do love them. But my dog is part cat, so I get the best of both worlds. Well, I'm 0 for 2 or 2 for 2, depending on how you want to look at it. Gone to two stars. Two, two stars? Two stores so far, and I've purchased more things than I needed or planned. Who says it's only Target that you do that at? You can even do it at U-Haul or even Petco, but I had to get Eve a treat. I meant to vlog more, but Sarah, I called Sarah about something and we stood on the phone and chit-chatted like best friends the whole time. Can you tell the BOGOs? BOGO, 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 BO, BTGT, buy to get to. Only thing that's not a deal are these Lady Gaga Oreos and I never even heard of them before. I just saw them and uh, I love Lady Gaga. Okay, this is a solid cart, very solid cart, 44 bucks. Deals on deals. It's been fun, but now I've got to go. Who doesn't love a dance party while packing for a Disney stay? Whoa, oh, oh. I come home and it's party rock time. Major just, tummy time. I just filmed the clip. Ew. I had a bunch of boxes outside. Can you do this dance, dance, the dance move again? <laughs> I don't know what it was. It was like shaking a hand. Here we go, we got fancy with ourselves in a wardrobe box. So Sarah's gonna actually, I think this is like the first thing you're like technically packing for the move. I've organized them. You've organized, but not packed. <laughs> These boxes remind me of a funny time in my life when I was working at the JW Marriott Chicago and the NFL draft came to Chicago. Not that I care about sports, but since we were like the fancier hotel, they sent all the broadcasters and Hall of Famers to stay in our suites. And the NFL actually sent bigger wardrobe boxes than this with already pressed suits and with that had days of the week for each of them to wear them to the draft. So apparently we're just like the Brookharts are going to the NFL draft now. All right, so the first part of my duty tonight before it gets too late is to do some drilling. I don't want to be too loud to our neighbors, so I'm going to undrill a bunch of the, the blinds, curtains, whatever those things covering the windows are called, a bunch of those 
pieces, these things. I want to un unattach those and those. Then I'm actually going to take apart this bed. Now that I've got all the, this is like a twofold. Now that I've got all the bins moved, by the way, buy one, get one on the Kona. Now that I got all the bins moved, I can take these drawers out and then I can disassemble the bed and start like really getting this whole area. My plan is to then like get this whole area as like another version of that corner with just like boxes and stuff. And also to really clean up this closet by putting the rest of this stuff, like leftover tchotchkes in one cardboard box. I was so happy when those went up and they, I feel like they only went up like three months ago. But they're going to look amazing and be solid and beautiful in our next home. But now that it's still, I'm, I'm like rushing for it to be too late. I need to detach that metal bracket on there. And then the metal bracket there and there. And I'm going to try to just keep this bottom base with all the paneling in one, one piece. We're going to see how that goes. And then I'm just going to take out the three walls down. So then the floor, like the floor piece stays one with the drawers out. And then that, those three walls will come off, so... At least that's my logic. Thought I'd give you a better look. So if I remember correctly, I think these three walls are only attached by these two screws here. Like was on the other side. And then a bunch of these Trek screws. There. And then these ones are attached to this, which are resting on this side. Or vice versa. Maybe. I don't know. We're going to start there and see how I feel. Do you guys remember the puppy ice cream we got for Evie for her birthday? Well, I finally dished herself some up. She's so small, I don't want to give her too, too much. But let's, let's see how she likes it. No surprises there. Oh, is it cold, Evie? She loves it. Again, not surprised. My hypothesis was true. All right, so the walls came off. We're going to tape these, because these are all attached either to that piece of metal or that piece of white. So we're going to tape that down here, one or two, so they don't jostle too much. And then we're going to take the drawers out. And then the heavy, it will be kind of heavy, but granted I'll be able to do plus 12 dollies. That'll be easier to move and less time to break down. This is literally like four screws and four nuts and bolts. So I'm very happy with that because this is very tedious to take up. If I had to take up all these planks, <gasps> no way. How long to be? We got Moana on, we're eating chips and dip. Bogo sour cream mint, dip tonight and dip tomorrow. Okay, so Peter got the Lady Gaga Oreos. On the phone, I'm like, what flavor are they? He's like, pink and green. I'm like, that's not a but flavor. that's literally so they called it the gold it's a it's a pink dyed golden cookie so like it's we know chromatica. what that flavor is yeah chromatica. but the cream altered was green cream so i don't know it tastes it smells like a cake which like i'm not sure if i'm gonna be cake thrilled what's about. wrong with cake i don't want it to be like sour apple or something you should try it first you're the you're the sweetaholic you come as a plane <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like a yellow oil. I don't think it's any fancy flavor. No. Hashtag sponsored by <laughs> Oreos. I just talked with so much food in my mouth. Um, they're really good. Make, like I like golden Oreos. This is gonna make your poop a weird color. Just, kids, watch out. Don't get freaked out by your weird tongue or your weird poop when you eat this. Claire called me from out like the bedroom getting stuff ready and said, look. I'm just looking for a toy. This was the closest thing I could find. And then he, put his, he does this little foot up action all and the time. And he pushes. Like he likes to push yeah. against his feet. He's making sure he doesn't get any of that plantar fasciitis. Yeah. He's never too young to start the, mm -hmm. the stretching. He's like wrapping his toes around it. <laughs> Alright, now you may not think that it was a lot accomplished tonight. But Sarah and I did a lot of work tonight when it comes to packing. Let me show you really quick. So I brought more boxes and bins to stack this higher and that higher and I moved the wardrobe box that Sarah loaded up our closet in right there. I also loaded up our vinyl records and the rest of our Disney DVD and some other electronics to completely empty this. Like that drawer's got stuff in it, but that's gonna travel with it. 
So that's real good. That's good. Now in here is pretty, is where I made the most progress. So I took all the hardware down from the living room and out here. I took apart, I took the walls off this, the base of the bed, so the base of the bed can flip on its side and make it through the doorways. The sides of it before couldn't. Mattresses are ready for Grant to sleep on. This is semi-organized. So we got a box back there. We've got some organizations to still happen here. And some these are like a lot of empties that we're going to fill. Two more boxes. Now this is the huge, another huge hurdle tonight. A bunch of bigger tchotchkes that aren't going to go in a box or anything. But look at this. Empty, empty, empty. That's a return to Ikea because look, it came busted. Empty, empty, empty. An iron just in case we need it. That's the, the I bought a bunch of these matrix bags and, and uh, chair covers and sofa covers. But all of the, the closet is empty except for like bigger tchotchke things that we're going to toss either in the front of the truck or the back of the truck. So that's what I kind of wanted to accomplish this weekend when it came to like more so the last of the bigger things. Getting the bed really apart. Next would be the crib, but that's going to be closer in because Sarah does tummy time and it, with him in there, and we've been trying to get him accustomed to potentially be sleeping in there. Do I have a receding hairline? <laughs> this is why I vlog, so I can see the deterioration beginning of my old age, older age. Um, I gotta go, go on a run. I'll be back. Wow, you're really cute all wrapped up in a towel. You all clean? Ready for your stay at the Riviera tomorrow? I got some Disney instrumental music on. I'm going to do his little lotions and potions and his massage. I'll show you what I use. This I use on his face and his head. It's just like good old fashioned lotion. And then this is the lotion that I put everywhere else, basically. It's nice and lavender and calming smelling. He really likes it. I really like it. It's nice on his sensitive skin. Both of these can be bought at Bye Bye Baby. Warmer than it has been. Feels good. The extra sweat. Just taking it nice and easy. I don't know how we're going to present it yet, but we've been telling Sarah the transition of our life to Chicago is for many reasons. We miss our city, we miss our family. We're gonna come back to Disney often. We already have like six or seven trips planned, but I think I'm taking this opportunity to refocus not just on living our best life in our favorite city near our family, but also just switching the focus a lot in life. And I got ideas for that. A lot of it wrote based around running. Um, but we've had all these chapters of busyness from loss to success to pandemic to holidays to moving now. And I, got, I, just got, I always get good ideas. I always got these crazy ideas on my runs. And these are, the one I'm thinking about tonight is one of the most crazy. So I, I'm gonna go home and talk to Sarah about it, but you know, the book cards just thrive on the craziest of ideas. So, it doesn't seem so crazy, but it is. I'm back from my run. I showered. I talked to Sarah about two of my more in, um, crazy ideas. She said yes to both of them. One of them, we, want, we need to talk the details through tomorrow. We might talk about it tomorrow during a live stream has to do with a, a goal before we leave Florida. The other one I just signed up for. I'm going to be running a 15 miler this summer in the Chicago suburbs. It's going to be good. Come on for a Friday night. That's really good for the Brookhearts, but it's because we have a really early day tomorrow to, to finish getting ready for our staycation. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Ooh, today is Monday the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Today's Friday the 6th. I don't know, Monday what I'm talking about. Today's already the 6th, that's wild. Okay, today's by Conan O'Brien. If you work really hard and you're kind, 
amazing things will happen. You got that right, Conan. How was bad time without me? It was, it was very calm. Yeah. I told them about um, the thing in June. Yay. We also have a cool thing that's going to be starting that we're working with a small shop for to raise some money for American Cancer Society. But we'll have more information on that later. But that'll be like you can buy stuff from their shop and then portions of their um, like profits will go to our fundraiser. So lots of stuff coming up. On top of a moon across the country. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.